This episode is brought to you by Etsy. Hi there, bald and beautiful listeners. It's the holiday season, you know it, baby. And I wanna talk to you about Etsy. Now, if you're like me, you're on a mission to find handcrafted affordable gifts made by independent sellers. None of this big box bull crap, you know what I mean? Ha 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 ha. Ho ho ho, in fact, Santa. I don't know about you, but the gifts under my Christmas tree will be anything but bland and generic. I'm out here to spread joy. I've famously ordered several stunning Turkish pictorial rugs from Etsy. Not only Turkish, but Afghan, Persian, all types of lovely rugs. And each one has been even more show-stopping and excellent than the last. Whenever I'm ready to bring a new rug into my life, all I need to do is hop on Etsy and I'm immediately met with pages of thrilling new rug options. It's all coming together thanks to Etsy. So join me and do your holiday shopping on Etsy. New to Etsy? Use the code HOLIDAY10 for 10% off your first purchase. That's code HOLIDAY10. Maximum discount value of $50 expires December 31st, 2023. See terms at etsy.com slash terms. For handcrafted and affordable gifts for everyone on your list, Etsy has it. Shop etsy.com. This episode is brought to you by Buffy. Just like Santa Claus, I do believe in milk and cookies. I also believe in giving fierce gifts to everyone in my life, especially the naughty list. Okay. That's why Buffy's incredible eucalyptus sheets will definitely be going under the tree this year. And the best part, they have an amazing deal going on right now where you can get 20% off site-wide and up to 40% off with bundled deals during Buffy's holiday sale using code BEAUTIFUL. Still not convinced? Huh. Well, let me tell you a little more about Miss Buffy. Their sheets are the earth's softest bedding. That's right. Move over, cotton and linen, because eucalyptus sheets are the ultimate sleeping experience, and you know I am very particular about my sleeping setup. So check out Buffy, and if you don't love them, they have a 50-night money-back guarantee with no fees and free shipping. Go to Buffy.co and use code BEAUTIFUL through December 19th to get 20% off site-wide and up to 40% off with bundle deals during Buffy's holiday sale. That's 20% off site-wide and up to 40% off with bundle deals at Buffy.co with code BEAUTIFUL. Diarrhea, babe. This is an open question. Sprays out of my bum bum and gets you brown in your face. Oh, you smell like my poopy. (laughs) (laughs) Do people in New York like that song? Or do they feel like, yeah, or are they like, no? Do people in... Mom, that's a fact. Like when New York, New York lies, yeah. yeah. are New York people like, well, that's, that's, you know a, what that, I mean? that's, that's like, Liza, Liza, Frank, Frank, Liza. But like when Katy Perry did California Girls, I didn't live in California. If you lived in California that year, were you like, Mama, yes, that's yes. music for Iowa, Idaho, Indiana, um, uh, Nebraska. Oh, what about like the OC? California, California. Well, oh God. Here we go. What about, um, what about, um, what about um, uh, 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 music uh, you lose oh, wait, oh, 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 it's, it's for the ladies. I want to. McDonald's. It, that's oh. what it was. <laughs> to the ladies. Uh, I want like to. Oh, that's uh, what it was. Tell me, ladies. Yeah, there was I a, like it, the yeah, way yeah, you work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the fellas. fellas. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Ow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, daddy. Yeah. I have some <laughs> great. I have some Kitty great cat, meow, 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 meow. Coming with the beat she, like boom, boom, pow. She loves Miss Jackson. Go. Got a name new now. Oh, daddy. Brand, yeah. brand new style. Got a brand new style. Coming with the bang <gasps> like boom, boom, pow. Ow. When I walk up in this piece, uh huh. Y'all motherfuckers ain't got to speak. I'm oh. a bad mamma jamma. God damn it, motherfucker. You ain't got it like yeah. me. Thank you. Step to me, get burnt like toast. Honey. Spread Missy the- Elliott, come on the pod. How about this one, though? I'm busted open, spread these lips. Watch me skeet all on that dick. A- a- acrobatics, watch me flip side to side. I'm the shit. Was that what we did yes, last I'm night? Like that, I'm like that silly rabbit. Coco Brown, that bitch do tricks. Like I said before, you already know. I prefer you to fuck my face before my pussy hole. Was that Whoop. last night? That was last night. Except David Silver and I yeah. were sitting at Orville's table. Yeah. It we're getting the carpet for yeah, the horse, but yeah. I have to tell you David's face yeah. watching you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, when I come out, I say, bend me over, grab my waist, arch my back and fuck my face, fuck my face, grab my waist, flip my ass over. How good does it taste? He started telling me he loved me like I give a fuck. Now stick my, stick your finger in my butt. Make this pussy nut. Make this pussy nut. Do a lot of women want a finger up their butt? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. I truly don't know. But the rap girls love to say that they, they eat bonk, the men's ass. Bonk. Nope. They say eat this ass like a plum. No, they okay. talk about eating the man's ass too. They certainly Once in don't. a while, you get a female celebrity who's like, if you don't eat your man's ass, and then it goes viral for like 12 hours. Then you won't get Giardia. Like, like if you don't eat your man's ass, then you won't get Giardia. Because that bushwhacked, unwashed piece of shit ass ain't edible. Straight guys' asses. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> Well, it looks like an unfrosted pop tart down mama, there. Like, well, if you're a straight, if you're a straight transamorous man in Boston, South Boston, to be exact, mama, you could eat sushi din din off that ass three, four, five courses all throughout the night because it's douched, shaved, scrubbed, and presented. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, in my back. experience with straight guys, that's too much of a blanket statement. It's too much of a blanket statement. We're generalizing too much. We got to be more specific because gay well, guys. I'm not hooking up with straight guys. Gay guys don't wash their ass no more. They certainly don't go to hot dog. Wow. The gay guys now now are like, I got an eight day nut and through, through I, a I'm thicket ripe. of pubes. And I'm right. Through a thicket of pubes. Here's, like you're, here's like my evil dead. Yeah, girl. Like, go, like you're in, when she guts in the, the, the thicket For, and the thing goes up her. Yes. That's evil dead. And they're talking about, um, here's my dossier of workouts I've done uh-huh. since my last shower. Yes. It's the bragging rights of, in mama, the, I've got pecorino yeah. cheese. Pecorino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got, I've got, um. Peccadillo, Pecorini, um, uh, 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 Mandarino di Amalfi, yeah. Nasty Nasty Bubarella. And also, it looks like it was snatched from the Smithsonian, these, these jock straps. Yes. Snatched and- from King Tutankhamun's uh, sarcophagus. <laughs> and there's an unfair, it looks like it was tea stained for a mummy costume. Tea stained, Girl. sweetie. D- well, <laughs> <laughs> tea stained. It was tea- shit stained and tea stained. Yeah, and crystallized. <laughs> yeah. Girl, and crystallized. And, okay. Okay. <laughs> the problem is, too, I feel like, People um, are unfair about uncircumcised dicks being unclean. Mama. There's a lot of disgusting circumcised dicks. Tell it again for the people in the back. That's like when people are like, you have a, uh, I, the idea that tops have big dicks and bottoms bottom because they don't. Because they have teeny that little That is peanut. not fucking true. Mama, there's a lot that of untruths that we're going to Indiana Jones uncover in this episode of the pod today. So put, get out your notepads and your little scribble scribble pens and, and, and put your earbuds in. Yes. <laughs> and we finally have something to talk about because yesterday- you did a performance at the plaza for I Apocalyptic. Did. Apocalyptic, which I've, this is a fabulous t-shirt designed by Abel Macias, who's an incredible successful artist who, yes, I do want to fuck. Thank you. I'll just That's say cool that shirt. out loud. I want to fuck that man. He's booed up right now. It's okay. I'll wait. And um, so uh, <laughs> he's a lovely guy. Yeah, I'll wait. And, uh, yeah, Outside your house with a knife. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Two knives. I'll Ooh. wait at your man's house. Yeah. But I cut the brake line in his face. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait for the blood, for the dog transfusion blood to go in his yeah. body. I'll wait to take the batteries out of the carbon monoxide detector. Why did I make him Susie? I don't know. I don't know. I'll take the batteries yeah. out yeah. of this carbon monoxide. And I will monoxide. put a hose from my exhaust pipe into his mouth and I'll wait all night long because I've got the time because I have a 401 I'll tell you what, girlfriend. <laughs> I want to be your girlfriend, so I'm going to take out your boob. <laughs> Now that's a good investment. Now that is a good investment. <laughs> so wait, I You did. know when Susie wants you, she comes for that ass. Mama. Th- <laughs> you know. You know Susie. She's pretty, she's taking that ass down to Fiorucci Boulevard and selling it. I'm still <laughs> listening to the Women in Money podcast. Are you? With her and KT. Well, and good it for starts her. with the Sia song, I'm unstoppable. Oh god. Every week. Yeah. And so now now that's by the I, way, that song plays everywhere. Yeah, and I always now think of that podcast. That, but, but, but there would be a better song. How about Money Makes the World Go Around? That would be better. Yeah, I suppose. A mark a yen a buck or a pound. Come on, Susie. Get it together. Money makes the world go around. Yes. Candor now. Right a tat, right a tat at the window. Who's there? Ooh, hunger. Ooh, I'm hunger. My experience with your show started yesterday when you stopped by my house. Okay, so I so I, I employed the the services of a very talented DJ, Patty, Miss Patty. Brought that for you. Oh, oh! I thought you were doing cheers. I thought Brandon gave it to me, and I Actually, said, "Is that for me?" He said, "That's for your little friend." Oh my! Oh, thank you, Brandon Tina. Oh, not Brandon Tina. Well, oh, that, oh, that's oh. his Christian name. Hey, Bra- hey, you better chill. <laughs> Brandon brought that. Brandon said, "That's yeah. for your little friend." That's so nice of him. Um, uh, uh, so, anyways, I'm trying not to do what I did last time, which is uh, spike my caffeine level so high that I go home, have a headache, and then have a nervous breakdown around 5 p.m. It is. A, it's a dangerous game. Caffeine is definitely a drug. Well, because. Well, it is a, it absolutely is a drug. And also I, that is a lot of fucking sugar, bitch. Well, full I also fat. grabbed you the sugar free. Full fat. Oh, yeah, in the UK. Would you like a full fat Coke, babes? Yep. A full fat Coke? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just too busy. I just a roast, pot roast in my mouth. I can't tell you. But also being full sugar doesn't mean full fat. Well, they, fat and sugar are not the well, same, Mary. Well, um, the, the sugar converts the fat. Ugh. That's my scientist voice. But sugar reason. isn't automatically fat. But I guess it sometimes transforms into it. 
on Saturday. These are a little intense. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a lot. We don't need this rocket fuel no. yet. Anyways, but the point is, I went home from the show, got a lovely night's sleep. I had a fabulous massage, and I feel great. Okay. We got to go back to the show, though. I'm going. Okay. So I um, I decided to do a lip sync style, um, a lip, an homage to lip sync because my favorite drag number of all time is on YouTube, Lip Sync 1995 at the Boy Bar in NYC. It's the Barbara, please. Starts out with the Lauren Bacall. I feel great. You know, it's like, I feel da -da -da bombastic, da -da -da, and simply fantastic, but alive, but alive, but alive. And then it goes telephone. Oh, there's somebody on the telephone. And it goes, hello, dearies in a big hidey ho. And like, Barbara, please, please, Barbara. You know. Is this like, the one where she's like, She's my sister. On the telephone. Oh, is there, that that she one? has a whole bunch. This woman is the, uh, she's so like. She basically she's, invented the mashup lip sync. No, she's the most impressive, best, most virtuosic lip syncer in the world. Yeah, Period. it's amazing. Period. Period. She was on Joan Rivers. And, she, and, and Joan drag Rivers. queen's lip syncing to mixes wasn't exactly popularized until she did what she did with it. Mama, which Her she, shows ran she like a 60 minute show. Them. She shit on them. This number is about 12 minutes long. She comes out and shits on them. She's like, how do I look? And she looks fabulous. Yeah, beautiful. But she says um, one thing. She's like, Mrs. Whitney Ames and her debutante daughters, Susan and Lydia, wowed the fashion scene in originals by the atelier of Dalian and his new and associate, talented associate, Ray. See, I can't even do it. Like, she says it. She's just so perfect. I you love You did her. a great job. You know, I turned to Dave when we left. I and rehearsed. I said, I said, I don't get to see Katya perform very often. And when I do, and it's something well. I've, it's when I do, it's something <laughs> I've seen rehearsed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like. She really has a good lip sync. I called Andrew this morning and said, Katya's a good performer. I practiced it. I it, hate to say and, it. And it said to me, she's like, I've worked for you for two years. I've never seen you excited to work. Every, <laughs> yeah, every time true. you work, I'm there picking up your shit, your sweat stained panties and, and hearing you bitch and moan and cry. I've never seen you be excited. And I was truly on top of the world last night. It was fun. A, it was a very schizo phrenic yeah. energy the mix yeah. but you knew it like the back of your hand which well, doing a brand new mix is hard well so I Patty made the mix it was six and a half minutes long very complicated a lot of picking up a lot of sound effect cues and you gotta know them like to, mama if you gotta you know them like if you if don't phone, slam the phone down it's what's the point girl. so I, 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 I'm gonna review the footage I'm sure it wasn't perfect but we had a lot of irregular it was very complicated so I had to go into Miss Garage Band I had to get out the, the, the porn the exiled computer from the porn cleanse fire her up <laughs> But don't worry, she got all that free gigabyte space. I downloaded Miss Garage Band, Miss Banda de Garaje, and then um, <laughs> it's it's not it. That's not it. No, but it, you know, and um, so and we went in there like um, you know, like fucking um, spelunking into that little music thing, and we came up with this fun mix with Lawrence of My Labia, and most importantly, Lourdes Leon. The hardest thing about making those mixes is because I have made them in the my location. Life. Where's when does it come in? When does the cue, what, what's the order? You have to be able to say I would say, say the say harder it. thing is finding the clip, finding it a high enough quality, yes. downloading it and trying not to let the viruses kill your computer. <gasps> oh, it's yeah. It's really yeah, hard yeah, yeah. to steal I don't audio fuck with clips from YouTube, YouTube to MT3. I don't fuck with her. I find the, I own well, it. I don't steal the songs, but I will steal I a clip from a TV show or something. I screen record that's how that's you how do you, it. This is that's how you do smarter. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You screen because record Because you don't have to download anything. No downloading. And I, I have never thought of that. I ha Unfortunately, I happen to own Sex in the City too. Lawrence of My Labia, thank you very much. And I, um, you know, The Exorcist, uh, because HBO then you Max. Could, you could like at the airport quick spend an hour Sweetie. collecting all the clips you need. And then when you get to your computer, yeah. you have them. And you came to my rescue because I wanted this gaggy moment of the, the you know, the, the, the cameo at the end with the... That nasty stab sound, which I will be playing right at this moment. Yeah, it I is use, disgusting. For my EDM stuff, I oh use Splice, God. which is like a big bank of all kinds of Mama, drum beats and shit. Was, but they also have cinematic sound effects. And I was like, I bet there's a knife one. And the knife stab we found, get into this, listeners, was. And Jane Krakowski's coming up. That was terrible. I'm going to be constructive here. You should kill yourself. And just like that. Miss Big died. <laughs> it was a great mix. You did a great, you should I love it. it. You know what else is great? It's not Halloween-y. You can now use that mix. Well, I, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't need to, I can just give her the stab. But also there's a whole other version with, um, there's a whole other version with all the rest of the song cabaret. It's six and a half minutes. It was um, tons of like picking up, throwing down. So, so I got another longer version, yeah. 
Yeah. And we, I, we put an old man river at the last minute because previously there was, do you hear the people sing? Kevin Zeta Jones. The grittiness of life. Like literally zero people would have got that. And they'd be like, okay. you know. Hi, honey, it's Greg. Rakuten is the most rewarding way to shop and save because our members earn cash back on everything that they buy. You know me, shop, shop, shop. Rakuten is a shopping platform with partners at over 3,700 stores across every category. Beauty, clothing, electronics, home, department stores, pets, Ah, love it. You're already shopping at your favorite stores. Why not be saving while doing it? It is a no-brainer, honey. Sephora, love it. That's where I get my skin peel. Macy's, that's where I get my loafers. Ulta, that's where I'll go and get a fresh toothbrush. Nike, I need my workout equipment. Gotta stay fit at my age. Are you kidding me? Petco, I don't have a dog, but I love to stop by and get myself a new toy once in a while. Mm. Best Buy, <laughs> I'll decide if it's the Best Buy, and unless you're using Rakuten, it is not the Best Buy. My coworker Joyce, she's always wanting me to do her holiday shopping for her, and I say, girl, are you saving the best you can? And she says, well, I love to walk up and on the aisles and see what's the most affordable, and I say to her, if you're not using Rakuten, you are wasting my time, and you are not my work friend. You can shop through Rakuten for everyone on your gift list this holiday season. Earn cash back on clothing and shoes for the fashionista, toys and games for the little ones, ugh, electronics for the tech connoisseur, and kitchen and home essentials for the ultimate host or hostess in your life. If you're already shopping, why not get some cash back? When I have to buy a holiday gift for my ex-husband and my ex-mother-in-law, I'm looking to shave off a few bucks because who cares about them? Membership is free and it's easy to sign up. There's so many brands on the platform. YSL Beauty, Wine.com, hello, Fenty Beauty, Chewy. I love stacking holiday sales with my cash back. I mean, I love saving a little money, but why not save a little more money? Am I right, ladies? Start all your shopping trips at Rakuten.com or get the Rakuten app and start saving today. Your cash back really adds up. This episode is brought to you by Etsy. Hi there, bald and beautiful listeners. It's the holiday season. You know it, baby. And I want to talk to you about Etsy. Now, if you're like me, you're on a mission to find handcrafted affordable gifts made by independent sellers. None of this big box bull crap. You know what I mean? Ha 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 ha. Ho ho ho. In fact, Santa. I don't know about you, but the gifts under my Christmas tree will be anything but bland and generic. I'm out here to spread joy. I've famously ordered several stunning Turkish pictorial rugs from Etsy. Not only Turkish, but Afghan, Persian, all types of lovely rugs. And each one has been even more show-stopping and excellent than the last. Whenever I'm ready to bring a new rug into my life, all I need to do is hop on Etsy and I'm immediately met with pages of thrilling new rug options. And I can communicate clearly and easily and uh, efficiently with the sellers directly through the app. It's fabulous. Now, I'm making my gifting list right now, and it's comforting to know that Etsy has even my most ambitious gifts covered. Custom cutting boards for my mailman, personalized jewelry for my doctor, one-of-a-kind linens for my neighbor's dog, even a karate suit with a black belt for my cat who doesn't even exist. It's all coming together thanks to Etsy. So join me and do your holiday shopping on Etsy. New to Etsy? Use the code HOLIDAY10 for 10% off your first purchase. That's code holiday 10 Maximum discount value of $50 expires December 31st, 2023. See terms at etsy.com slash terms. For handcrafted and affordable gifts for everyone on your list, Etsy has it. Shop etsy.com. I loved it. it I was, had a great time. I did it well and I, and I rehearsed it ad nauseum. I really knew it rehearsed like it. You really knew it. Well, I loved it. That was the key. Which is very impressive that you like knew I, it. Like, I couldn't wait to do it. I Doesn't knew the that song Cabaret. Great? I've known that for years. So that was an easy one. Coco Brown, I knew for years. All the clips I knew, I just, I, Lourdes was the tough one because I was like, I fucking, like, it was just so funny at the end when she's like, um, and as for me, um, and as for me, I fucking love it. And as for me, everything's great. I made my mind up back in Chelsea. I love it. It's just so funny and stupid. I, I had the second hand, like, uh, of yeah, watching yeah, yeah. The, the euphoria of being a drag queen and actually lifting your finger for once. And uh, having it pay off. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Drag yeah. queens notoriously want to do well, so uh, little. And, they don't even want to learn their and, own music. And, they're, and, and they want a, a th like a thunderous ovation. Yeah. A thunderous ovation. But when you ovation. actually learned it, Andy went first. I was like, 
oh, there's something magical to applying yourself in and drag. I, I want to try something. And if, if I'll try it once, if it doesn't work out, we'll just skip it. But I want to try to do that spoken word lip sync that I spent so long on years and years ago. I want to try to wrap it live. Can I do it? <clears throat> yeah, sure. Okay. To be a survivor in this amazing race with a need for speed, you need God's grace. And if you're desperate like housewives watching days of our lives, you can't cope without hope and that's not on a soap. If you're looking for Oprah or Dr. Phil, you can shop nonstop or pop a pill, but the void won't fill and the pain won't kill till you love the one that hung in the hill. Kicking back in your lazy boy easy chair watching who wants to be a millionaire? Nah, you're not gonna find it there. No American Idol or council tribal has a final answer that'll satisfy you. CSI ain't got a clue. SVU don't know what to do. Not the ER, the OC, nothing on a CD, TV, DVD, or MP3 can save you and me. CNN's got no good news. Here's a headline. You must choose. It's not a simple life, Paris Hilton. It's trying on thin ice living in sin. You can be an apprentice for Donald Trump or eat Fear Factor fast food from a dump. You can be a heavy hitter, a Wheel of Fortune winner, a Fox News no spin spinner, or a flat out sinner. But you better check this life that you're living in. Make sure your sins are forgiven. I bet you 50 Cent Elvis Dunn came and went. Eventually, every black eyed peak, Gwen Stefani, P. Diddy, and Britney, every wannabe on MTV with the icy bling, every Dixie chick that sings, they all are going to see the King of Kings. I don't care if you're J-Lo or Leno or Bono. One thing you gotta know, someday you're gonna die, bro, then where are you gonna go? Hey, I'm not talking some punk junk that's irrelevant like your grandma's church from way back when. It's not some preacher feature on TBN that you need to be liking or listening. The real superstar is Jesus Christ. He's the way, he's the truth and the life. One day he's gonna split the sky, he's the brightest light and the highest high. So what I came to say and what I'm telling you is don't buy that stupid stuff that they be selling you. It's all designed to fill your head and waste your space until you're dead. Here's the bottom line of my rhyme. Give your life to God while there's still time. I did it! I did it! Ooh, there ain't no other way. Tomorrow, love. I remember love. that. Yeah, but it, but you, it, like, how do I know that I know the song? Can you say the song? Can you say can the you song? Say you it? need to know it you without to, the music. Exactly. Yeah. Then you can play with it. Then Otherwise you can you don't perform it. it. If you're thinking about a song, girl, your performance ain't boo-boo. It's boo-boo. Like, now when, like, I, like, ooh. when I get an acting thing, even, unless it's cartoons, I do not do it unless I know that I'm going to learn it inside out because if I can't play with it, then it's not going to be fun. I've never, I've never been able to do that because I'm, I'm such an asshole. I'm so lazy and I'm not a good actor. But I, 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 I want that. This is what I want. I well, want even that. for voice stuff, I'm on a cartoon right now. And the, you, you have to prepare it to the point where you can you you in, have several options. You yes. you've done the this way that way this way this way. I can do it yes. like this. Yeah. Because in cartoons we all record separately. Yeah. So uh, you don't know how they the other options. person's going to say it. Yeah, they need options. I was on an audition call with a with a with a director a while ago, and he was like, um, "It was I was so embarrassed." He was like, "Um, so it's a, for a Russian thing." And I was like, "Ah, конечно, но я могу сказать по русски как как всегда и погромче как кто-то, but he's like, "It's in English," and I was going on for like. Three, four minutes. It was supposed to be in Russian? No, no, no. It was not supposed to be in Russian. But why were you making it Russian? It was a Russian accent. And I just like, I was like, I thought I was being so cunty. And I was like, And I was like, I he was like, and I would just talk over him, talk over him. And he's like, actually, there's no Russian language in this part. Was it written? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. In English? Yeah. But it was I was auditioning for it. So you thought you were really gonna drop? I thought, I thought I was, you were gonna I, let them I know. I thought I was dropping bars like Chet Hanks. Yeah, <laughs> bombo clad. Do you know what I mean? You I was thought doing, like I was doing every bombo other girl is gonna come in here. <clears throat> and was it like, for a crossdresser? They were gonna be like, "How are you? I'm from Russia." You was know, it for like a crossdresser? Count Dracula. No, it's just it's something that never. One time I got something. I didn't get it. I auditioned for a sitcom that a, a new agey friend, and they were like, "You're the only drag queen we're auditioning," and I was like, "That's not. That doesn't bode well." Oh, oh, like a, like a crystal healer kind of thing. They were all doing all real girls, and then they, I was the like wild card audition. They were like, "You're one, of the, you're the only person who's not a woman that we're considering." Did you get it? Of course not. Oh, okay. I okay. was like, "What did you thinking do?" Thinking of myself, I'm like, "So this is a world where everyone and it's a normal person, and I'm going to be in drag, and we're all just going to like." I, I don't wouldn't like believe that. that. I wouldn't believe that. Well, not with your makeup. No. I mean, with the kids in the not hall with, with anyone's Dave, makeup. No, with Dave Foley, Cola Scola. That's, yeah, I, I believe Chassie Tucker's a woman. I believe you know Cole's what I mean? a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in yeah. Amy Sedaris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or or Dave Foley and the kids in the hall. Like, yes. The, some some of the even the guys in the state, they're like, that's a woman. You put on a wig and that's a girl. And that's good enough for me, Mama. It's the I preferred that. Something no lashes, I love about no lashes. Something I love about Reno 911 is oftentimes one of the actors, if they're not in the scene, 
they will play the perpetrator oh, and they'll yeah. blur out their face. And a lot oh, of times they'll grab that. like a guy and put him in a wig and make him a woman. I love that. And and you can kind of tell if you like the show, like, oh, that must be so-and-so. I wish we had the faces where we could pull that off, but Mary, we have nothing like that. Nothing Do you know how bad sort. I wish I looked like Cola Scola where like I just put on a lash and a lip and I look no, no, no. like a beautiful woman? Just mascara. I know. No lash. He puts on rouge. He's got a beautiful skin. He probably does a uh, BB cream, rouge, and then a little lip gloss and a wig, a little wiggly, a little wiglet. And he's like, hi, Amy, how are you? I've got more fallopian tubes than you'll ever have. I know. It's like, it's when crazy. People, when people, uh, people it's be crazy. like, how did you come up with this makeup? And I go, I had to. <laughs> yes. If I wanted to yeah. do drag, yeah. I couldn't exactly just how did hope Lockheed, for the best yeah, lighting. How did Raytheon develop those bombs? <laughs> yeah, it, it was, was a wartime necessity. necessity okay. <laughs> Necessity. So the show last night was at Plaza, yes, which is, Plaza. I'm just going to say it. 739 Lovely La Brea. place. Lovely place. Lovely place. Couldn't get a drink if you're- uh, It is so hard to get a drink. BYOB. I know you can't, And I'm but not drinking, so I'm, I'm trying to keep- You were there. I sit down. I cross my legs and David's finished the tequila soda. So I got to get him another one. I so got I'm him at, one too. I'm at that- Yes. I got him he one turned too. to me and said, can you tell her to get me a tequila soda? And I said, I, we're I, at I her got show. Pull. No, I got pull. I got pull. Yeah. I got pull. So I get him his little drink, and then I keep having to go get my drinks. And Raja was there dressed Roger. as olive oil, looking. Oh, perfect. I didn't get that. I thought she was just beautiful. No, she I was she olive was just oil. Roger, she said beautiful. That, she said that she told a Gen Z kid that she was olive oil, and they were like, like the bottle, like the food. I said, did they think that you were going to dress as a condiment, a, uh, a, like, like, like a, a cooking a, tool, like a vinaigrette costume couple? Yeah. Like, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah, she looked great. I said, are you working? She Balsamics said, in the bathroom. She said, like, no, what? I just I made this outfit and I wanted to go out on Halloween. Don't you love that, Mary? She's she looked so beautiful. Though I saw she did a little tour, an eighty style tour of her studio. Mama, the way I will rob that whore. If she dies Honey, tomorrow, she's I got hope nice she does. clothes. And she's nice and tall too. Oh, thank you. Roomy through the hips. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna like rob that whore. Cause she's got she has such she a nice refined, drag. beautiful sense of style and also frugal, creative. She will take a pair of fucking boots from Kohl's and turn them and, and Dolce and Gabbana would wish. Oh, I know. Would wish. They would wish. Her makeup artistry. I used to work in P Town with her. She Mama, would, she's eighty five years old, and she, she looks like my daughter. I know she looks like my adopted daughter. She sat. It's crazy. Across from me, two vanities across from each other, and I would be getting ready at the same time as her sometimes. And twenty minutes yeah. for her to completely do her makeup. She would do this glitter. I mean, she she really. You she, can't fuck with that. Mama, face. you can't fuck you with can't her. You can't touch it. The both OG. the face and the makeup on it. You can't touch it. No, you can't touch it because she'll slap you. She's Gemini, two faced bitch. <laughs> Raja Gemini. Raja, the Gemini. Sutan. Roger. 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 Love to call her Roger. Yeah, Roger, capital R. Who framed Raja Rabbit? <laughs> who framed Raja Rabbit? Who? Uh, who? Um, who? <laughs> I got an who? owl in my backyard that literally is a cartoon. Who? It goes, hoot. Girl, it goes, honey. H-O-O-T. Hoot. It's she like, said, she said, hoot. I'm up here. <laughs> like, it's so, I'm like, Mama, I've this is to, Looney Tunes no, up your in there. It's Looney Tunes. Your backyard is beautiful. It's hoot. But when it's those, giving when, hoot, No, but hoot. when you get this, I'm like, your backyard's a little scary. Is it an animal or is it a, is it that, is that twirlina up in there stuck in the, in the thickets? No, it's owls. I love birds. Owls yeah. are a little scary. Mama, but, but they're a little literal. They're like, but owls, give me like, a, like and a, even in nature shows, they're just like, you're the camera and yeah. I'm the owl. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. like, they're literally do you know what she did? Yeah, Your yeah. hunting daughter? Yes, yeah. yes. They're, yeah. they're kind Ooh. of... <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. watched a lot. We just wrapped Halloween. It's November 1st as we film this. Wait, 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 we wait. We watched wait. a lot of Halloween shit this year. And I made you watch the most scandalous episode or a section of The Exorcist while we did the mix at your house in your gorgeous fucking television. Oh my God. It was Suicide Watch when I got home again. Oh, um, I know. David has the nerve to lay in front of an 85 inch television and, and be like, and it should say, have been an inch higher. And, I'm all, like, and also say, I don't know, the movie was kind of had a slow start. <laughs> Like Mary, I would watch. I would watch. Literally, I would I watch you, paint dry on that fucking beautiful uh, thing. Eighty-five inch television. You better believe when I play my PlayStation on it, I pull my chair right up to it. Yeah, David told me Mama, this isn't hard, a PlayStation TV. Hard dick looks like Venom from the super the superhero Venom dick just oh, coming out, splitting in two. Purple. <laughs> Bright purple dick. Did you see that meme about um, all those different superhero dicks? Which one you take in? And the girl was like, "Honey." Carnage in the mouth, venom in uh, super venom in the pussy in the ass. Um, um, this one in between the titties, alternating between the titties and the pussy, and the other ones in my hands. Bloop. Will you take? Will you? Will? Will I take your son to the to the library? Will you suck someone's dick after it's been in an ass? I have many times. 
I've sucked. Oh no, just sorry, sorry. I've sucked. I've. Will you suck the? Di- will you pull the dick out of an ass and then suck it? Uh, I guess it's, it's happened to me because if I, because Mama, I know I went. I know what's going on downtown. Downtown. Petula Clark. I, I know what's going on song. downtown, and I've also done. Um, this is kind of gross. Uh, this is kind of gross, but I'm so horny right now. <gasps> I had a double orgasm after the massage by myself. I forgot to lead with that. <laughs> Let's take a break. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by Buffy. Just like Santa Claus, I do believe in milk and cookies. I also believe in giving fierce gifts to everyone in my life, especially the naughty list. Okay. That's why Buffy's incredible eucalyptus sheets will definitely be going under the tree this year. And the best part, they have an amazing deal going on right now where you can get 20% off site-wide and up to 40% off with bundle deals during Buffy's holiday sale using code BEAUTIFUL. Still not convinced? Huh. Well, let me tell you a little more about Miss Buffy. Their sheets are the earth's softest bedding. That's right. Move over, cotton and linen, because eucalyptus sheets are the ultimate sleeping experience, and you know I am very particular about my sleeping setup. Buffy's Breeze sheet set is where it's at. They've kept the sweatiness at bay and kept me so comfortable, even during my several recurring nightmares about Miss Nicole Kidman and her 1,300 kids. And don't just take it from me. Buffy has over 50,000 five-star reviews and has appeared on many best of lists, including Architectural Digest and Glamour Magazine. So check out Buffy. And if you don't love them, they have a 50-night money-back guarantee with no fees and free shipping. Go to Buffy.co and use code BEAUTIFUL through December 19th to get 20% off site-wide and up to 40% off with bundle deals during Buffy's holiday sale. That's 20% off site-wide and up to 40% off with bundle deals at Buffy.co with code Beautiful. This episode is brought to you by Archer. Sick of the dating app rotation? Honey, I get it. Hello. The seemingly endless scroll of headless torsos begins to look like I'm at a mannequin factory or in a slaughterhouse or am I a serial killer not looking for the love of my life. It's time to aim higher. And our sponsor today is the app invented just for that. It's called Archer and it's the new dating app for gay, bisexual and queer men that is now available nationwide. On Archer, every profile is selfie verified. No catfishing here, and the app is even customizable with different options to view someone's profile so you can choose your own dating adventure. Your dating life, your rules, it's your house, and you live here. I love Archer because I am so sick of catfishing and also being accused of catfishing. Come on. If if someone's going to impersonate me, you need to dream a little higher and use Brad Pitt or Henry Cavill. Plus, Archer is the social first app that allows users to follow each other, tag, and more. But more importantly, Archer is all about community, safety, and building connections by being your true self. So whether you're aiming for friends, fun, or to find the one, be an Archer and always hit your mark. Download and try the new Archer dating app today. Now, what's a double orgasm? Let me tell you. I'm so glad you asked. It's a multiple orgasm, but there's only two. So I was... um, I was... Because I have been no porn, mama. Is it an ingasm? I read about this in mental health. Okay. No, no, she's out. It's out.com. It's out. It's out. She's out at night. Pride edition, you know. Out um, of the park. Out, out, out yeah. Out, um, out festival. What is it? We got to get loud. booked it out in the park. Mama, it's happening. I already talked to the organizer. No, we got to get booked it out in the park. Mama, out in the park or out the out loud festival? No, I have two goals for us. One is for us to get booked to be at Six Flags for out in the park. Out of the mountain. Out of the mountain, yes. Mama, 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 oh, no, mama, 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 no, 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 for the cons- the customer, the consumer, not the performer, because then you cannot experience the what the the majesty of X two with lashes and a wig on. No, baby, sweetie, we, we host for a couple hours and we're done and on a roller coaster by nine. Okay, now we're we talking. We don't have to work the whole night. Now we're talking. We don't have now to work the whole night. But I don't think they want you to go on to one a.m. Oh, sweetie, how about how about they don't usually let it, but we could get them to do GoPros on the forehead. Yes, Mama, please, because I cry, I cry. I cried on X2 twice. I was like, it's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's so beautiful. Superman, like this. Do you think you're on the notebook? Mama, I, no, no, no. I'm not on the notebook. I'm on the, I'm on, the, I'm on like the uh, bridge to Terabithia. Sure. I'm like going, it's a hyperspace bitch. You lose yourself. Ooh, it's like Diplo at the DJ set. Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, wait, I had a double orgasm. So I was yanking it. Sorry, ladies. And I'm, I was like, you know, and then I was, I was having an orgasm and it was, I was like, no oh. porn, I was, no porn, just imagination, solamente, see, see, um, just not that she was watching, just the Spanish. Um, Why does she, how come no, nobody else in the room could speak Spanish? You look right at the brown person. Because <laughs> Tracy, but why do you keep looking at her forever? It's not her job to educate you. 
Well, actually, her job description it's not her just job changed. To do, it's not her job to do the labor Mama, of educating She's you. doing the labor. I'm doing the work. What are you doing? <laughs> so wait, listen, listen, listen. So I was. I began to ejaculate. Let's keep it. Let's keep, let's keep it kosher. So I began to ejaculate. And I was like, "This is kind of a mid orgasm. I'm cool with it." So we're we're. we're <laughs> <laughs> she's giving mid. She's not eating. She's not eating. So this is kind of giving yeah, yeah. mid. I was like, it's but like I was kind like, of mid. But I'm here for it because it's like whatever. What do I expect? I'm not looking at porn. I'm not on drugs. You know what I mean? So what do I expect? It's a learning curve. It's brown so, rice and vegetables. Then, oh, it's brown do you rice like and brown rice and vegetables? Worse than dog food. Yeah. But this was not a dog food orgasm. It was like, it was like um, lean cuisine. We are doing lean cuisine. Okay. We weren't doing Green Chef. We weren't doing- um, Lean cuisine, which is about a, a third of a cup of food. Right. I think I measured. Right. It's it about is a edible. third of a- It is edible. The ravioli one, I'm not kidding, has four raviolis. Sweetie, darling. And in three four. of them, suspicious activity inside. Four raviolis. Suspicious. If you see something, lean, don't eat something. A lean cuisine, does it defeat the purpose of having in three in one sitting? Well, I would say this is the Trader Joe's frozen tikka masala of an orgasm. It's edible. It's not preferable. But I'll take it. Yeah. So then, but then we went, oh girl, then we went right to Erewhon or whatever, to the prepared foods place. Or we went to, you, you know. You came twice in the same so, city. So I, so I was, I, I came, I was coming, I was coming. And then I was like, oh, it's over. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. It was like when the coaster comes from behind, but there's no brakes. Oh, she bumped it right back up. And it was twice, uh, twice the fun for uh, double the pleasure. Like double mint gum. And I was like, whoa. I didn't say that, but it was like, then it was doing all that stuff. Love that. I love it. I love it. You know what happens but to me? But it was crazy. It never happened to me before. This happened to me recently, and you know who I'm talking about, where I'm unsuspectingly looking at porn Twitters, and oh. I accidentally see not only someone we know, someone I might not want to see. But don't talk Hey, about you better chill. I'm not going to say who it is. You better lay low. Okay. But when you see a friend of yours, one of yeah. the girls, Shocking. you go, oh shit. Like yeah, that just like, like yeah, yeah. derailed oh, my- my dick collapses into itself Pussy. and I look down and there's a clip. But my dick just disappears. Doctors is more like, wonderful work. Who but does like, it? Yeah, I'm into yeah. the porn. I'm into the porn. And yeah. then I see a friend and my dick, Mama. my dick grabs no. her car keys you're like, all of and a sudden, skids out of the you driveway. You got orange robes on because you're living in a monastery. You've taken the vow of celibacy. No, not you're robes, like, orange. I'm in jail. <laughs> it's a jumpsuit. I'm in a Filipino prison. <laughs> Doing the thriller. Doing thriller. <laughs> Doing thriller, bitch. Doing thriller. I watched a little documentary on the dancing prison. Let's, we can't talk about prison. We oh. got to keep it light. Okay. We got to keep it light. Um, because that- I've, Is I, prison not light? Because <laughs> I watched, have you ever watched um, Inside the World's no. Most Dangerous Prisons? No, if it's Russian, I, I, I can't. Uh, well, I Love watched them that. in Siberia. I'll say this about prison. It's torture. It's shocking it's torture, how mama. different they are country to country. Sweden? Mama. Denmark? PlayStation. Mama. Sweden. That's not even, that's the Four, four seasons. seasons Minnesota. The Four Seasons. Yeah. Four Seasons. They, also, they got, they got, do you want to learn? Denmark? Do you want to learn Dutch? Do you want to learn Japanese? You want to want, uh, do, I went to prison. What? What'd you do there? I got my PhD. Yeah, I got my PhD in electrical engineering. Do you need any rewiring done in your summer cottage? Yeah. Blue, a hundred percent. It's crazy. Well, they have human rights things. They have like res respect and dignity for human rights. They also, also have a very responsible, you know, all the bikes there. But also a small homogeneous population. Denmark. In Sweden. Hands down. Denmark and Amsterdam, like Sweden, it's the size two of, of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. Mm. Mama, no their weather's, littering. Their weather's boo boo, though. Sorry. But no littering. Everyone's nice. Everyone's riding a bike. It's the size of Massachusetts, let's be real, though. Do you know what I mean? That's a manageable. Do you think America's too big? Do you think of that's the problem? Of course it is. It's way too big. She should be cut up into thirds. One should be sunk in the ocean. I won't say which one, but you know who you are. And then, you know. Not, it's, not, no. it's, not, it's not an all in one place, but select little states could maybe just exit the chat for a moment, maybe rethink their choices and come back when they've regrouped. I know. I'm talking about. But you know what, though? Mm. You know what I wish? What? And we used to be like, oh, we would never want that. I wish. I wish. You want to secede from the union? States. States, right. Donna People's Karen. beliefs are so different in America. I know. It's that the, I wish we could no just unity. like cut it in fourths. And it's like, all right, if you're a hardcore Christian and that's what you want, yeah. go over here. Go, uh, you, you, know you say the, the, the Indian Ocean actually was um, built on a bed of strawberries. If you go down to the bottom, you can still smell it. Right. Yes. <laughs> and say. then like, 
If you and there's a, condos down there. Yeah, if you're try a, it. if you're a fag baby who believes in the devil, go up here. New York, right? And, and then like, but instead, it's just it's all free for all. I know it's a cross well, stitch. I think what we really went wrong, of course, let's say a foundation of slavery, genocide. That, oh all yeah, that. the country starting with stealing Slave, land, in, murdering, in, murdering, theft, gen, kidnapping, genocide, slavery, rape. R- rape. Thank you. But also, Mama, where's where were the another R word that we really sorely missed? The railways. The Why don't we have Mama, effective cars. train travel in this fucking country? I'm a Japan bullet train, Europe Ch- channel touring Europe. channel to- another channel no, train touring train. the UK another train is actually nicer via train. Mama, you don't have to Airports go through security. Suck in the UK. Security airports in the UK are a Shit. performance. It's, it's a it's a it's like um it's a, a community production of I want to eat my own feces. Girl, meanwhile the train situation show up to your. Train seat, there's Wi Fi, there's food. Buy it online. Oh, buy it on the computer. No TSA. Honey, show up a minute before it enters the station. Maybe it's three minutes late. Who knows? Things happen. But By I got way, my little why suitcase. Why do they put our bags through an x ray on a plane, but not on a train? Mama, why are they taking like my people little. people can't kill me on a train? Why are they taking my little teeny little tester spritzer bottle of Tom Ford tobacco oud out? Do you want to spritz yourself? Do you smell like poopy? What are you doing with that? Also, why can't I take my little uh, six ounces of water because I'm dehydrated? Look at my skin. You think I'm going to blow up the plane with this water? What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't know. What is wrong with you? Not you. Not you. Not the agent. The Home, best is when they take that clear and that Biore pore strip and wipe your palms or oh, whatever the fuck they're doing. Testing for explosives. <laughs> Mama, this pussy when bomb, I, we all Mama, know that. What I said, the first time I said, what, what, is, what is that? He said, testing, we're testing for, for explosives. explosives. And like, I went. It's like, well, I haven't figured myself today, so you got nothing to worry about. Testing bomb, for bomb. explosives. These are empty hands. Bomb. No, you've been handling bomb. Bomb ass pussy. Finger. What if I work at a bomb factory? Thank you, Raytheon. This what, pussy, do you see a this bomb? This pussy blow do you need like a, a machine bomb? to tell you this isn't a bomb? <laughs> the, it, the fact that a company this was- This is a gun. Hello. Ooh, <laughs> shit. You better lay low. <laughs> <laughs> no, the fact that a company has um, is probably publicly traded and employs thousands of workers to create, engineer the technology to for this machine. Mama, that's the farce. That's a farce. I, I'm glad that there's jobs and people having livelihood, but this whole TSA farce- Mama, what? Do you know what I've been doing for David? On. We Tell went me. to San Francisco last Tell weekend me. to see Terror, Terror Vault, Vault, which was amazing. You loved it. Love. Yeah. Love. Is there a cream though? I know there's peaches, but what about cream? D- and cream. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen Connie and Carla? Uh, no, I haven't. There's a drag queen duo on that. Mia, uh, the, the Greek actress? Yes. Is it? And uh, Tony Collette. Oh, no yes. way. And they play, spoiler alert, the log line is they witness a murder by the mob. And they have to go into hiding and they're two struggling cabaret performers and they go into hiding as drag queens. They pretend to be gay men. Oh, it's the it's, So they it's work the in a cage. queer and they accidentally are really good at it, but oh. they don't want to get found out because people are looking for them to kill them. Oh my God, it's like Sister Act it's in the amazing. Birdcage. It's amazing. It's a very underrated drag movie. It's so yes. good. I love it. There's a part where she's singing maybe this time from cabaret and she comes out singing and the girl looks at her like this and she goes, I'll be home. And then sees her and goes, at last. Because <laughs> she remembers she's supposed to be she's not a born the male. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So funny. I love that. I, I love it. Forgot why I was telling you this. Well, I, but maybe this time I sang that while getting de-dragged with scissors on stage in college, just like Chirac did um, last, last night. night. Which, if you know Miss Yang, Miss Aster Yang, costume a superstar, art t- doll maker extraordinaire. Those scissors Those had scissors. me nervous, Mama, bitch. I had, I had my fan she up against was, my face. <laughs> Mama, she, <laughs> I heard stories about Coco Chanel that she would intentionally pin the models, prick them with the pins because she's, for whatever reason, was a Nazi. I don't know. But like she, um, Miss Yang, when she's fitting me for a dress, I'm like, no, no, no. I think we use the dress form. I think we use the dress form. She pins it into the Mama, skin. She's, you know how she is. She's yanking. She's pulling. She's physical. She's, she's physical. She's doing American Gladiators at that right. fitting. <laughs> yeah. And then she's, she's bumping her crotch against you. Not, the floor you know, is lava. The floor. She's standing on top of you, <laughs> fitting the dress. <laughs> the floor is lava. The dress is lava, <laughs> The dress is lava. Yeah, yeah. And you are a punching bag <laughs> and a pin cushion. And I'm like, oh, oh. Like, well, she's used uh, to dolls. No shit. In she's dress used forms. to pinning into dolls. And also, she's a confident person. She's not just second guess herself. To her, sometimes to her detriment, I would say. <laughs> but you know, I'm like, oh, I'm so careful. It takes me. She's like, girl, let's whip this out in two seconds, and bam, bam. But at what cost? You wear well, a lot of red, though. Human That's flesh. Nice. You know, at the cost of my human flesh. So when I saw those actual fucking shears. Hacking, not medical shears. Hacking, not the rounded no, one. No, no, no. Also, sewing no, shears. Maybe how about maybe like a box cutter that's ceramic. 
How about those ceramic box cutters that would have worked it lovely? It was a box cutter on a person's body. A person's no, body. No, they were they but were I didn't shearing. see any blood. I didn't see any blood. He nicked her. I, I went backstage. He yeah. got the gal. He I, got the gal a she, few times. Yes. He got the she gal. She nicked they. I don't know who's, who was doing what. Because everyone was doing personas. Andrew uh, Andrew was nicked Chirac. Yes. And I love Chirac. Oh my God. Everyone knows what that. What a bravery. The and I'm bravery. on stage going, what? Because you know, I came in the dressing room and I saw her and I didn't say hi to her. I didn't say hi to anyone in the dressing room because I felt rude and yeah. I just was like trying to get my little prop and leave. Yeah. But they, somebody went, that's Chirac. And I went, ha ha. It is Mama, I, I gagged. It I is gagged. Chirac. And also the, the panic halfway through the number, I was like, did they rehearse this at all? Because it, I it, loved no, it. No, no, I loved it too. But there was a moment where I was like, um, is Well, I don't this, know how long the song is. So well, I'm thinking, are know. they behind? Are That's they what ahead? I'm saying. I was like, leave it up to Miss Thing to like, oh, we'll just wing it. And not know that, you know how the, it's classic drag thing of like, oh, I know. And then you find out on stage in real time in front of an audience that what you had planned is not possible. Songs either feel way too short or, or not, so long. Yeah, Sometimes yeah, yeah. you're like, I don't really think past the yeah. first chorus. And the big your big finish happens the big reveal you don't get in the first there. 15 seconds. Oh yeah, or the 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 ba 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 ba, ba and nothing. You, you the, the song is over. Been over for 2 minutes. Yeah. It's really sad. But anyways, the whole point is drag is you don't rehearse drag, it's drag. But that show was fierce and lovely and I loved it. Love Hottest it. crowd. The the girls the, the couple of um lovely women who were uh porn women who were dressed as I drew Magini and um then a, a kitty, a kiss, sexy kitty. There was someone dressed as you. No, oh yeah. Oh, that be, mama, better. Flawless. Mama, giving Balenciaga and then she in. She looked. She, she made out. you look like. Yeah. She out. She, she out. She out. You looked yeah. like ASOS presents the buffet. Katya and then hunger. Not and eating. She looked so good. Her makeup looked so good. Sweetie, the wig. I, look at go look, look, look at my Instagram. Look at my Instagram. She she did those. She had the nerve to do those tights on regular fishnets. Mary, which let me by tell you the this. way. Well, Very they're going to rip them one day. But they haven't. She's worn them three times. But I'm going to tell you this. She Red was shirt. sitting with someone. She Usually people go as us together. She was sitting with someone with little braids, in, blonde braids and a hot dog costume. And I turned to David Silver. I said, if that's me, we're leaving. I thought she was sitting <laughs> next to this woman who had leaving. the paper bag over their head that said ugly. That could have been me. <laughs> that could have been fucking me. That was so, I, I love that. It was so funny. How about the Honey Bunches of Oats lady? Oh my God. And fun fact, that guy is Brian. Um, I figured his last name, Hot Smudge on, on Instagram. He is so Fucking hot. I know, and but I he, love was, it when hot he was do the, the stupidest. He was the honey bunches of old, old ladies. So he had the gray curly wig in the, with the, the helmet, the, the, the factory helmet. Yes, the factory like hairnet with the honey plastic bunches thing. of oats. So, and it looked just like her. He so, looked, he and is like so a hot, hot guy sitting there in the dumbest costume. It, you're like, it gives, it gets me, it gets me. So, it's boner. like a ten dollar Dracula. It gets me so. Ooh, it's it gets Halloween. Me riled up. The only thing I'm afraid of is coming all over your pussy lips, getting a boner. <laughs> Getting a big is boner. Spreading these lips and having you skied all over it. Prego. Prego. <laughs> so wait, wait. You know, how about this? When you when you're so comfortable and so and shaded from the, the troubles of the world that you order a aura quick, um, and, and like just on a whim, you forget and it comes in. Go and, get tested at one medical. Oh mama, don't you dare. You can show up don't anytime you, you want. They have lab dare, hours all day. Don't you dare get me started about one medical. Why? What's wrong? I got a bone to pick. Actually, I've got a bone to break with them. Oh, because of the foot? How, how, how's the x-ray? How's your foot? How's the x-ray? Eight days later. It took eight days to Can look I at the image. You, when I rolled my eight ankle, days. when I rolled my ankle in Palm Springs, I got in a doctor and had an x-ray in an hour. Mm-hmm. In an Good hour. Good for you. That's amazing. Eight days. And I love to call out rad net girl. Ain't nothing rad about your fucking net. I know it's radiology network, but whatever, girl. Rad, sad net, okay. Flop net, poo poo net, crap net, shit net. Is your foot shit. better? Yeah. Stress fracture. No. Nothing. Probably a bad sprain. But I iced, elevated, and compressed for three full fucking days because well, I was that's terrified. Why it's better. Well, that's why yeah. it's better. And also, I was dilating all that time. Which, if you, <laughs> which, if you were coming to see us in Richmond, etc., we we canceled for the foot injury. Mama, and I'm not joking. Let me. I'm not joking, bitch. Take your hat off, bitch. Balding bitch. I could Drag. tell you were sick because- No, no, I, mama, I, I hated it. I hate, I was not in, it, it was miserable. I would have, I didn't want to go on the road. I would have loved to do the shows. I didn't want to go to the airport, but I- Well, that's what I said. I, I said know, if it was Los Angeles, mama, we would have pushed through. Yes. But the airport and shit, it would have made no, it worse. I'm telling you. And then I'd come back to LA and I'd be, and it'd be worse. And then it'd it would be a fucking stress fracture because I'd do something stupid on stage because you get all crazy. And like, I just- 
I, I'm sorry. I actually really am sorry because I know people did like they did Airbnbs and non-refundable hotels. But listen, listen. I'm so sorry, but you know, I had to, I spent thousand dollars to see Labada in Miami and flew my friends there, and she wore a yellow suit from Zara. So I know your pain, Mama. I yeah. wish you would have canceled. But at least she showed up. No, no. I wish you would have canceled because I'm still processing that suit. Okay. I could have, I would have been over her absence. Yeah. She's looking fab, fabletics by Kate Hudson these days. Uh huh. But not that yellow suit. It haunts me. Like the Ringu. Like, like, um, talk to me. Right. It's the haunting of Pill House. The haunting of Pill House. Girl, that cracked me up. Good pill hunting. Good pill hunting. Yeah. Pilly Wonka. <laughs> I'm making oxys, we of were, course. We were making jokes about <laughs> when people are visibly on pills, pills yeah. which is a funny thing to joke of about. Of course, drugs. Yeah. But people doing recreational drugs yeah, where it's yeah. like, oh, she's drunk. She's on a She's high. Pill. But I'm like, oh, she's Miss Pill. It's, and it's then like, we were like, no, she's good pill hunting. Yeah, she's, she's the haunting of Pill, pill Manor. Yeah, yeah. She's um, no, the haunting um, of Pill House. Haunting of Pill House. Um, uh, Pilly, uh, Pilly, Pilly Wonka. Wonka. <laughs> uh, she's also um, good pill hunting. Hey, pill. on the floor. Um, uh, 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 pill Smith. Pill Smith in... Pill Smith and Pillow Smith. Uh, Pillow Smith <laughs> and Pillow Smith. And uh, oh my God! And um, um, who is it? Uh, the uh, oh for fuck! Give me another one. We gotta do another one. What's another one? Pill there was you. <laughs> oh God! Oh Pill and Grace. Pillow. That's the one. That's Pill the one, Grace. That's the one. That's oh, Mama, the she's Pill and Grace. Pill and Grace. She's Pill and Grace. Pill she's good Pill hunting, honey. <laughs> good Pill hunting cracked me up. Granted, oh, I took shit. a fat edible before that show. So what? I it, no it helped. Oh yeah, it, it helped. helped. What process it, the beauty, the glamour, it made the technique? Me just able to lock my eyes on the drag and forget that anyone else in the room was even watching. The How show. beautiful did Andrew look as Isabella Rossellini? And I, you Andrew's, know what? I'm going to get my credit. He wasn't going to do that outfit. I made those were all my jewels and all my trim. He needed that jewels. Yeah, and that was my dress. I said, "You're going to make this outfit, bitch, and you're going to do it with these jewels." And he did it in probably under an hour. Yeah, he looks great. The hair looks great, Bob. The, hair, I know. the lip. I said, you look like Selma fucking Blair, bitch. You look yeah. great. Well, I don't know about that. But he, I, he told, looked, well, I told him he, Selma uh, Blair, Witch. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, close enough. Selma Blair, Witch. Although Selma Blair has short blonde hair now. She doesn't um, have, but she used to have like the Pelissa short Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> Pillow pill. <laughs> Pillow pill. Pillow pill. Pillow pill. Or just Willow pill, <laughs> which I guess isn't as good. I like Pillow pill. Pillow pill. <laughs> Pillow. I like Pillow Smith. We're going to Jack and Bill, a Jack and Pill party. <laughs> Wait, do you know about Jack and Jill lighting? So it's a little too little in that recessed lighting world that I'm trying to get ex excised myself from. I know about Jack from. and Jill bathrooms. Well, Jack and Jill lighting Jack is Jill little, little um, like his and hers lighting, reading lights by the bedroom, by the, by the, uh, that you go boop, Jack and Jill switches. Oh yeah. We have that here. We sure do, girl. Are you Jack? Oh, 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 the oh, set, the oh, set. You must be Jill because you're such a clumsy woman. Jack, oh my God. Pillow Smith. Pillow Smith. Um, okay. Uh, Last so night was so good thoughts, though. If anybody thoughts. gets a chance, the show is called Cabaret. Apo Apocalyptic, right here, look. Apocalyptic. And it's, it's, it's a quarterly, I think it's about a quarterly extravaganza. Yes. Usually it's themed, like it'll be holiday stuff. Like the next one's probably holiday. Christmas. And guess what? I already have... I mean, I'm going to say it so I follow through with it. I have a major passion project, as in I'm not going to make any money. I'm going to lose a lot of money on this number. But I have a, I have a fabulous show-stopping Christmas number planned with choreo. I, I, have a, I have the call out to Laganja. She has not responded yet. Hi, girl. Um, <laughs> but to do it, but it, me and Roman, who's a trained ballerina in uh, Austin, we want to do this incredible uh, number about birds. Love. Now you, you got me interested. I will say this Birds. though. The fun of this show is that the people who go are artsy people, industry people, porn people, um, drag queens. Chance high let's tech. Keep, let's let's keep tech. it a little fight club here. Uh -huh. I want you guys to sell out and make a lot of money. What, 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 what? Let's just keep the audience fun, queer, and cool, shall we? Oh, what, what, what are you talking Artsy about? Artsy people, Mama, the creators, yeah, weirdos. Let's just lovelies. keep it weird. Yeah. Every other part of drag is gentrified, and that's partially no, but, this is, our fault. But, but this is, but this is, these let's are keep artists. this one cool. Mama, that guy I told you about the house I nutted over in the last episode, he was in the audience yeah. before, you know, it was Chance High Tech. Yeah, it's Chance just a great tech. vibe there. It was, it was every cool the person music, in LA. Yeah. I every, stood up and started dancing. No one was dancing. I was. You go through hell dancing. I stood up and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you hate to dance. You go through hell dancing. Well, it was that fierce Diana Ross song. Upside down. down. 
Yeah, and you get to earn me. You, you have to dance. Oh, wait, wait. So last final thought, final, final thought. While I was driving to the plaza, they were doing my neighborhood's trick-or-treat moment. Um, I was listening to Car Wash at Full Blast by Rose Royce on Halloween for some reason. And I, I drove by uh, Morticia Gomez Adams and their probably five-year-old daughter Wednesday in the cutest, sexiest, I'm not the, the child, the, 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 the parents were so fucking hot and seemed so cool. It was like just enough effort to be awesome, but not too much to be obnoxious. You know what I mean? Yeah. I had to, I, I stopped, rolled down the window. I was like, y'all better fucking work in front of the, the child. And they looked at me like, what? And I had to You're just like, We don't have to work today. I was like, yeah, yeah, no, no. It's like- We it's, have the day yeah, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, no, we, we work from home. <laughs> like, it was, they looked, I was like, okay, maybe straight people are on to something. It was so cute. The they straight were, people are- I know. I know we make fun of they're them. They're beautiful sometimes. They are onto something. I go through hell looking at straight they're people. Onto, they're onto what we're supposed to do. No, no, they're, they're on, they're, we're off of them. Because we, we- No, we're off of something. No, no, no. We're, we're off at, the chain, but it's belonged to them. We're at Pla Mary, <laughs> I'm sitting at Plaza watching a person in a rubber pussy suit Mama, with a rubber bu, bu, pussy bu, 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 and red mm, rubber tits bu, bu, walk bu, by me and bu, take a dollar. Bu, you think bu, I'm on the right track in my life? Uh, you're Lebanese, you're Orient. Transgender <laughs> life. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> 